this is GeForce from XTS Gaming with another Top Gun comparison between two top carbines, the ACWR and the Ace 52 CQB. The first carbine up is the ACWR. This one's equipped with a Cobra sight, two times magnifier, and a muzzle brake. This is Operation Locker, and the ACWR's damage starts at 25, drops out to 15.4, rate of fire is 880, mag capacity is 31 rounds, muzzle velocity is 550, reload time 2.37, empty, and 1.83 with bullets still in the magazine. This weapon's really good in close quarters because of its high fire rate, and you can see basically taking out enemies from probably the 10 to 30 meter range. Uh, they will drop pretty quickly. The ACWR is a little more difficult to control at distance due to its recoil. This weapon excels at medium to close in fighting. Its hip fire is excellent, as is the Ace 52 CQB. Had I quit this weapon with a laser sight, it would have been even more effective at close quarters. In this case, I use the 2x magnifier to be able to pick out targets at longer range in this particular situation. The next weapon up is the Ace 52 CQB. Its damage is 34 and drops off to 20. Rate of fire 650 rounds per minute. Magazine is 25. Muzzle velocity is 400. Reload is 3.1 and 2.2 seconds with a bullet in the magazine. This particular weapon is equipped with a coyote sight, a muzzle brake, and a laser sight. This weapon is very effective in close quarters and medium range. I was wondering why it seemed to be more effective than the ACWR in close quarters, even though its rate of fire is only 650 as compared to the ACWR's 880 per rounds per minute. I took a look, closer look at the two weapons and compared the recoil patterns for both and what I found was that the recoil for the ACWR was a little bit better but the left and right recoil for the Ace 52 was better than the ACWR. So I pretty much call that even but what I couldn't figure out is that the ACWR's higher rate of fire at 880 rounds per minute versus 650 for the, the Ace 52 CQB. The tighter spread actually for the ACWR would m lead you to think that the time to kill would be a lot faster for the ACWR. And when I checked the statistics on the time to kill, I found that the Ace 52 with its higher damage model had a faster kill time at 10 meters, 20 meters, and 30 meters compared to the ACWR in both normal and hardcore. So in this very close competition between the Ace 52 CQB and the ACWR, I give the edge to the Ace 52 CQB. Please leave any comparisons you'd like to see in the future in the comments below, and give me your comments on how you felt about the ACWR or the Ace 52 CQB as far as which one was your favorite. Please click on the links above to link to some of my earlier videos on the comparison of the M416 to the Ace 23 in the assault rifle category. For now, this is G Forest from XTS Gaming, signing off.